Oh, why, hello there. No, I wasn't really reading. Guys, this video is sponsored by Sportsman's Guide. If you want to check them out and use my code WARPO, it'll save you all kinds of money on firearms accessories, on bullets, on outdoor apparel, on hunting stuff. Holy cow, I can never remember all the things. Anyway, you guys didn't come here for that. You came here for a video, so we'll roll it now. Here we go. All right, what's happening, folks? We have arrived in lovely Montana, and we're joined by Alex Steele. Hey, thanks so much for coming well, on the thank channel. Thank you for coming out, John. Yeah, I've been a big fan for a long time. I'm a fan of yours. And it, well, I'm a fan of yours, and it is a thrill to have you here. We've got some mountains. We've got some tools. We're going to make some stuff. Myself, Evan, Will. Say hello, Will. Yo, yo. How's it going? Anyway, we're all collabing to make the ultimate zombie apocalyptic weapon. We're also going to get out on and shoot on the range. More of the documentation of the Zombie Smasher 2000, the ultimate weapon against zombies. Zombie Slayer 2000. Zombie Come Slayer? <laughs> Sorry? Whoa. Most of that video is going to be on Alex's channel, so you have to go and check that out. We'll give you a little glimpses here, but we're also going to get them out on the range later in the week and uh, shoot some. So it's going to be a grand old time. Anyway, you guys are going to come along with us. Alec, would you show us around your shop a little bit? Absolutely. So this side of the workshop here, this is where we have our forge. This is where we heat all our pieces of steel, and this is all hot work. So this is all about heating the steel to the point that it becomes malleable and uh, then forcing it into different shapes. We do that with the use of power hammers. This thing does hitty things. We do it with the use of hand hammers and anvils, hydraulic presses. That was lame, it didn't turn on. I, I didn't do the right thing. Try it again. Hydro hydraulic presses. This thing squeezes. Do you have anything to smash real quick? Oh, that's so gratifying. Well done. Oh yeah! As we come over to this side of the workshop here, where Will is working on the Zombie Slayer 2000, we do welding, we do fabrication stuff, you know, and this is a, this is a pretty useful area. We do machining, lathing, milling over here, especially useful on different fittings on swords and knives and things like that. And, uh, oh, John is... Coming across, you got all weapons. kinds of cool toys around here. Here, we we do have the cool sure. the cool toys. Until our zombie slayer is ready, we got to be able to well, be know, ready. That's that's the whole thing. This is all about protecting ourselves about the impending zombie apocalypse. Um, and so up to now, it's been on swords. Gotcha. But, uh, unfortunate that the zombie slayer two thousand is in its burgeoning stages of life. Great work. So that finally, we'll have the ultimate protection. From, uh, from such a... Oh, and ultimate is the right word. It yes. is going to be the greatest of zombie slaying technology. Up to date, you guys are going to love it. It's going to be tacky. It's going to be a monster. It's going to be wonderful. You're going to want one, and they're not for sale anyway. It'll just be ours. <laughs> that sounded terrible. That was so good. <laughs> It works! I got you. Oh my goodness! That is the most incredible bayonet <laughs> on earth! This is awesome! <laughs> oh my goodness! The Zombie Slayer 2000. I can, I can literally feel the zombie killing potential. Coursing through your veins. Oh. 
It really is. This is amazing. We gotta test this. The hand stop really works quite well. I can do my C clamps on my barricades. <laughs> Wonderful. Shoulder transition. Just, just very <laughs> cautious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're out on the range and we've got Alex Steele and Will Stetler. We're ready to see you guys shoot and we're gonna give them a little bit of a tune-up. We have completed the Zombie Slayer 2000. Guys, how do you think it turned out? I think it turned out fantastic. It's razor sharp. I've already cut myself on the teeth twice. It's beautiful and horrific. I think it is a glorious tool of utter reason and everybody needs one. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll start them off on rifle. I'm gonna give them a little bit of tune up, then we'll switch to pistol, and then we'll give you some type of stress fire, kill the zombies and shoot the steel, little montage, and it's gonna be a grand old time. Good, cool. All right, fantastic. What I want you to do is just point at the steel and we'll see. So what I'm looking for, guys, is I wanna make sure he's in the pocket of his shoulder. He's a little bit on the shoulder itself, so I'm gonna make a tiny adjustment. Come in the pocket just a little bit. Shoulder comes forward just a little bit more, and you see that muscle really squeeze that in. All right, moving over, we've got a stance with our hips pointed toward the target, which is great. The elbow's in the right place, not dipped down. I like to point at the target, so you don't think about pointing the rifle at something. You think about just pointing your finger. Looks pretty good. All right, now we're looking at Will. Immediately, I see his buttstock is a little bit too low, so I would like this a little bit higher. He's standing up a little bit more erect than I want, and I wanted to drive in just a tad. Very tiny critiques there. Looked really great right off the bat. But guys, it's time to shoot. Let's do it. Where's my dot? There we go. Yeah, this Rifle thing is so flat. Is really flat shooting. So it can be a little bit like cheating. It was glorious. It was a slick, that trigger slick is insane. thing to shoot. Yes, it is a premium, amazing rifle. Shop Landtac for 20% off using code WARPOET. Go. Again. All right, Will, what, where exactly did the red dot go? Jumped up about eight inches, about the same width as the target and then slowly came back down on center. The fact that it was a slow return means the problem is with his actual body. He's not into the gun enough. He can have all of from here up proper, but if it's a slow return, that means his core needs to be tightened up and to push into the gun a little bit more for a quicker return. Let's push forward just a little bit more, take a shot and see what happens. So that one, it stayed a lot tighter in. Last time Alex shot, he did fantastic. I was very pleased. I can't believe this blacksmith from England was that great immediately. So wonderful, wonderful job. Let's go ahead and present it. It was lots of YouTube videos. <laughs> Who? You better say my channel. Yeah, your channel. You All right, good. Oh yeah. Uh, a little, yep, good fix. And here we go, eat it off. That felt much yeah, better. Yeah, it, it felt like there's a much harder spring pushing me back down. And that's what you need. That, Guys, you killed it. That was what? a huge amount of fun. I learned a lot in five minutes. Holy moly. Absolutely. And now Absolutely. we'll do it for some pistol, right? So first man up. What did you call this? A glork? A glork 90? <laughs> Shut up. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Alec will go first because he didn't say the dumb joke. Just kidding, Will. It was amazing. Let's go ahead and draw present and finger off the trigger. Stay unloaded. Hands high up in the tang. Finger off the trigger. Wonderful. This hand is really high as well. Very good. Go ahead and holster up. I want you to grip my arm as if it was the pistol. All right. Now what I'm feeling is a nice even wrap all the way around it. And that's not what I'm looking for. All the action on the pistol is happening up at the slide. So what I want to do is actually take my pressures and kind of push them upward. And I'm going to use a few things to do that. I'm going to pull underneath the trigger guard here, which will allow a fulcrum point for this hand to really drive up and in. And I'll also use this elbow as a torquing mechanism. So it's less about my strength. So here, I want you to tell the camera the difference of feel here. Uh, we'll go ahead and come right here and I'm grabbing grabbing and right now you should feel and pressure even... all the way around just like this band And what if I do this? 
pressure just at the top of the wrist and it's much more concentrated to the top and more forceful at the top. It felt far more like a vice. The gun will feel like I just turned green with gamma radiation. Like I just hulked out. That was pretty nerdy confusing. <laughs> it means I, the gun will feel like I got much, much stronger. Let me feel it. Hand, hand. Uh, and now I don't want you to mess with this one as okay. much. Yeah, that's far better. Now you don't want to be so aggressive here that this hand lifts off the pistol grip. That's very bad. You want to keep establishing friction, but the pressure shift toward the top. So let's go ahead and present your gun. So what I felt like it's coming down a lot faster. I'm still, it's still coming up, but it's coming down a lot faster. It looks like a whole new shooter. There's so. so many people here. This, <laughs> look, there's, there's like a hundred thousand people through that thing. I uh, present. Now we're just going to shoot some targets. We'll put it all in an epic montage. But before we do so, I have not shot this gun with the Zombie Slayer 2000 yet. And I am frankly, I am aching to see how it does. So we'll go eyes and ears. Everyone good? Fantastic. And we'll take this girl. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Pretty fun time. The zombie slayer has taken blood. This is mind blowing. What? I mean, we're, we're here at the end of a long day in the shop, right? We haven't had a lot of time doing this. In probably a total of 15 minutes, I am shooting better than I've ever shot. It, thank you. We're, and we're like, we're way back and we're just hitting the targets. Yeah, this is 22 yards from this steel. Eight inch plates. Uh, 17 and 18 yards. We did it with a range finder and you're doing fantastic. Y'all were already good shooters, so good job. But it's tiny little changes that, you know, you, you adjust this. It's like a combination lock and just hitting little tumblers. And then all of a sudden it unlocks and it's like, wow, that's like magic. It's mad, it is. It is good, but we've been standing in the open shooting too long and that's good for killing, but it's not good for if you don't want to get killed too. So cover concealment and knowing movement and things uh, will be fun. So let's transition over there. Sound good? Great. Yes, thank you. <laughs> the zombies are coming. Move, move, they're shooting back, so cover. Ah. Cover! Take it. Oh, Take. I, I choked myself. Take it. You way out there. Wow. <laughs> way out there. That was just bad. Doing great. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hit the target though. Other side. Slow down, make your shots.
Hit it. Slow down. Slow down, get your hits. All right, guys, have we had a good time? Unbelievable. Truly phenomenal. Learned a ton, had a boatload of fun. Fantastic. We taught a lot that wasn't on camera, but uh, we'll get, we gave you a little bit of taste there, so some stuff will be out of context. You'll hate it, and if you had been here, maybe you would have agreed. Who knows? I want to now take every single one of your classes. <laughs> well, so, thanks. you know, a little, little, little review in two hours. I want to take all your classes. So that Fantastic. was phenomenal. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Uh, we're not done yet, though. We want to slay a watermelon. Indeed. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah.